Hello and welcome to Wednesday Debate Live with Tagheed Hussain here on TV International. Uh, well, tonight, as uh, happens throughout uh, the holy month of Ramadan, we are experiencing uh, Ramadan air and Ramadan atmosphere in the different countries around the world uh, through the daily debate, plus, of course, discussing the current events and the top stories of the day. Tonight, we'll be uh, flying to a very dear and sisterly country. We'll be flying to the giant of Africa. We'll be uh, flying to the country known for its natural landmarks, wonders, as well as culture. We'll be flying to Nigeria, which is known for its vibrant and diverse wealth of uh, natural beauty. From the stunning butterfly colonies to the vibrant street parties and the incredible range of also exotic fruits, plenty of things uh, to admire in Nigeria. How is Ramadan celebrated in Nigeria? And uh, at the same time, how are we exploring this country's diverse and unique landscape, also discovering more about the beauty of Nigeria and uh, its people? Uh, I'm really honored to have with us here uh, one of the imams of uh, the uh, famous mosques in, in Nigeria and also a researcher in Al-Azhar uh, University. We're really honored to have with us uh, Mr. Abdel Wesa Olaidi, uh, who is from Nigeria. And uh, with us, uh, Mr. Olaidi is going to tell us more about Ramadan rituals in Nigeria, the dishes, uh, the desserts, the air, the atmosphere, the, the great vibes of the holy month in Nigeria. Mr. Abdel Wesa, thank you so much for coming. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much. I'm honored to be here and it's my pleasure. Thank you so much once again. Thank uh, you. And we're really honored to have you. And together we are going to be discussing more about uh, Ramadan air in Nigeria. But first of all, let's have a look at the top stories uh, of the day and uh, the current and important stories. Also, the presidential events happening. Thank you, Mr. Abdel -Oesa. Well, before delving into uh, more about uh, Nigeria and uh, the air in Nigeria and Ramadan in Nigeria, uh, let us discuss first the top story of the day and the Cypriot president's first visit to Egypt. President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, received earlier in the day his Cypriot counterpart, uh, Nikos uh, Christo, Christodoulidis, who is his first regional destination since his election as president of Cyprus last February. So this is a very important and uh, a very important stop that reflects on the distinctive relations that brings together the two friendly uh, countries and uh, people. And also after uh, the discussions, His Excellency President Sisi and uh, his Cypriot counterpart held a press conference in which they stressed on the importance of achieving a quantum leap in all aspects of bilateral cooperation between Egypt and uh, Cyprus. This in addition also to the President pointing out to the importance of working to increase the rates of trade exchange between both countries, supporting also the sense of cooperation in all development and economic fields between the two countries. In the press conference, President Sisi announced that he agreed with his Cypriot counterpart on the continuation of the close coordination at the political level regarding all issues of common concern in addition to discussing regional issues of common interest like that of Libya. President Sisi also stressed on the constants of Egypt's principled vision regarding the importance of achieving security and stability in the eastern Mediterranean region by affirming the commitment of all countries to respect uh, international law. The President announced the appreciation of the two countries for the tripartite partnership between Egypt, Cyprus and Greece and for the tripartite cooperation mechanism between the three countries. His Excellency President uh, Nikos Christodoulidis had appreciated President Sisi's efforts to restore the pioneering and pivotal role and unprecedented reforms that President Sisi is carrying out for the benefit of Egyptians. And we're really honored uh, to have with us uh, His Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Al Arabi former Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Ambassador, happy Ramadan to you. And uh, thank you so much for joining us live here on Wednesday Debate. Uh, happy Ramadan uh, to, uh, to you and your guests. 
Thank you, Your Excellency. It has been a very important meeting. His Excellency, the President, received his Cypriot counterpart today. This is the first, actually, regional destination since his election as President. And definitely it reflects on the brotherly ties binding both countries and, and very significant to have this stop in Egypt. Your Excellency. Yeah, I think uh, you are absolutely right. And, uh, you know, our relationship uh, between Egypt and Cyprus, I think it is uh, part of the uh, Egyptian strategy uh, in the Mediterranean and even uh, to Europe. I think uh, lately we had uh, very good cooperation and uh, uh, very uh, important uh, even steps. Uh, and as you just mentioned, the uh, tripartite, uh, you know, uh, Partnership. I think that was that was uh, one of the cornerstones of the relation and the strategy of Egypt in the Mediterranean, and uh, it will even go through the uh, beyond the uh, two countries to so Europe. I think uh, Egypt is now trying to be an instrumental for the, uh, the energy uh, sector in the region, and uh, Cyprus is serving, you know, as a hub also uh, to the Egyptian. Uh, uh, types of energy like uh, natural gas or electricity and uh, that's why we, we should consider this visit as an important visit and it will increase the level of cooperation and it even you know cement what we achieved uh, for the last uh, few years uh, this kind of cooperation uh, so I guess uh, it is an important and timely visit for the uh, new president of Cyprus and I think Egypt is, uh, well, I would say, an important destination for him. And we have a mutual uh, benefits for this kind of relation. Egypt and uh, uh, Cyprus, they are working together for uh, different levels and for even to tackle different issues. And I think the, the uh, statement by the presidency mentioned the stability and peace in the region. And I think this would be an important role for Egypt for the, uh, uh, the next, or let us say, the, in, in the future. Uh, so uh, I consider this visit as an important and even, you know, another uh, momentum. Uh, in the relationship between the two countries. Yes, definitely, Your Excellency. Also reflecting Cyprus' appreciation of the prominent role that is played by Egypt in re resolving uh, regional disputes, uh, many important files have been discussed, including also the Libyan file, Mr. Ambassador. Yes, uh, Egypt is an instrumental now in all these chronic uh, issues which is prevailing in the region. And I think everybody considers the Egyptian role as a positive role and even important role. And uh, Cyprus, of course, part of this. The EU in general always looking to the Egyptian uh, uh, endeavor in order to uh, solve all these problems. So I, I think this is a very good recognition for the Egyptian role, and that's why uh, most of the European countries, they are always aiming to come to visit Egypt and to listen to our uh, views and our strategy uh, to solve all these problems. Right. Uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador Mohamed Larabi, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, thank you so much for your uh, insight. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your time. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a very important visit, as His Excellency has outlined, and in the press conference that has been uh, held between the two leaders, President Sisi has stressed on the importance of achieving a quantum leap in all aspects of bilateral cooperation between Egypt and uh, Cyprus, foremost of which is the cooperation in the energy sector. And uh, also uh, they, they talked uh, concerning more about the file of cooperation between the two nations in clean and also in renewable energy uh, projects. Uh, in the press conference, the president had announced that he agreed with his Cypriot counterpart on the continuation of the close coordination at the political level regarding all the uh, issues of common uh, concern, discussing regional issues of uh, common interest, as His Excellency Ambassador Arabi had highlighted concerning the uh, Libyan file and also stressed on the constants of Egypt's principal vision regarding the importance of achieving security and stability in the eastern Mediterranean region. We
And we have all the honor and pleasure of having His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, happy Ramadan to Your Excellency. And happy Ramadan to you. How are you? 